Hello students, welcome to the online classes. Now I am going to teach exercise 1.3 that is the transition probability matrices. Transition probability matrices. Now I am explaining that forecasting the succeeding state when the initial market share is given. You know that word, well known that word the forecast. That means what will happen after certain period. For example, when you are born, you are a newborn baby. After one year, you are grown up. Likewise, last year you have studied 11th standard. Now you are in 12th standard. So after one stage, you are promoted yourself. Like that, we are moving from one stage to another. That is called transition probability matrix. The transition probability matrix, so all the values of PJK must be greater than or equal to zero. Not equal to zero. All Transition probability PHJK is greater than 0. Summation of all PJK values greater than 0. All summation of PJK is equal to 1. All values of PJK is BJK is always greater than 0 for all J. The probability matrix is written in the form of how will write? This is P11, P12, P13, dot, dot, dot. Like that, this is first row. First row, first column, first row, second column, first row, third column. Like this, second row, first column, second row, second column. Like that. Here is a general matrix. Like that, we will write that. This is called transition probability matrices. Students, I am going to teach example 1.25. What is the given sum? The consider the matrix of transmission probability of a product available in the market of two brands A and B. In the markets there are two brands A and B are there that the transition probability matrix is given. What is the transition probability matrix is given? A, B, A, B. First row 0 0.9, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0.7. Have you observed here? When we adding this 0.9 plus 0.1 we will get 1. Similarly, second row we will add 0.3 plus 0.7 we will get 1. The, what is the question for you? Determine the market share of each brand at equilibrium position. At equilibrium position means we have to that AB transition probability matrix is equal to AB where A plus B is equal to 1. This is the condition for equilibrium. Kindly note this point. At equilibrium AB transition probability matrix is equal to AB where A plus B is equal to 1. Now A, B is given. A, B, transition probability is this one. This A, B. You, to, you know how to multiply the um, multiplication. How will you multiply? First row, first column. What you can get? 0.9A, 0.3B. You have to multiply this also, but there is no necessary. Only first row, first column, and then equating that first element. Now, we know that A plus B is equal to 1. So what will happen? B is equal to, we can write it B is 1 minus A is equal to A. Now 0.9A plus 0.3 instead of B, what I write? 1 minus A is equal to A. Next step, what I am doing? I am taking this 0.3 towards inside. Remove the bracket. So 0.3 into 1, 0.3 minus 0.3 into A is equal to A. What is the like term here? 0.9a into 0.3a. 0.9 minus 0.3a, what you can get? 0.6a. Next, 0.6. a plus 0.3 is equal to a. Taking this 0.6 towards that side. So, 0.3 is equal to a minus 0.6a. 1 minus 0.6, what you can get? 0.4a. That is 0.3. So, a is 0.3 by 0.4. Both are having the one decimal point. So multiply by 10 on both sides, numerator and denominator, that the decimal point is removed. So what we can get? 3 by 4. 3 by 4 in percentage, that is how many percentage? 75 percentage. So what is B? B is nothing but 1 minus A. So 1 minus 3 by 4 is equal to 1 minus 3 by 4. What we can get? We can get quarter. That is in percentage, what we can get? 0.25. In percentage, you will get it. 25 percentage. In percentage, 25 percentage. Therefore, hence the market share of brand A is 75 percent. Hence the market share of brand B is 
25 percent. Shall I teach revise once again? What is given? The transition probability matrix is given in the question itself. This is the only condition you should know. What is the condition? A B transition probability matrix is equal to A B, where A plus B is equal to one. We have to write the instead of transition probability matrix, you have to write this one. Then multiply first row, first column. Then equating that first element. So 0.9 A, 0.3 B is equal to A. Instead of B, you have to write it 0.3 into 1 minus A is equal to A. So 0.3 I am taking 0.3 in, inside. Uh, that means you have to remove the bracket. So 0.3 minus 0.3 A is equal to A. 0.9A minus 0.3A, what you can get? 0.6A plus 0.3 is equal to A. That is written here. 0.6A plus 0.3A is equal to A. So 0.3, I am taking this 0.6 towards that side. That is additive inverse. So A minus 0.6A. 1 minus 0.6, 0.4. Then A is equal to 0.3 by 0.4. Remove the decimal point, multiply by 10 on both sides. Then we can get it 3 by 4 in percentage, 75 percentage. B is 1 minus 3 by 4. One, you know, Tamil we can say, one la mukha pona kalamo. So 1 minus 3 by 4 is equal to 1 fourth, that is 25 percentage. That is 0.25 in percentage, 25 percentage. Therefore, the market share of brand A is 75 percent. The market share of brand B is 25 percent. I hope that you can understand the sum. Next, we will go for the Next sum. 80 percent of students do, who do mass work during one study period. That is out of 100 students, 80 percent do the mass work during one study period. Like that, will do the mass work at the next study period, 30 percent of students who do English work during one study period. That means here, there are two subjects are involved. What are they? Mass and English. So, mass 80 percent is means. 0.8. That means how many of them studied English? 20 percent. That is 0.2. In another time, that is English. 30 students of do the English work one study period. English they did 30 30 percent. So mass did 70 percent. Clear? So now this is the transition probability matrix. 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.7, 0 0.73. That means after study one period. That is initially they are given that. In this sum, they are initially given that how many students did uh, in mass work? 60 students. How many of them did English? 40 students. So that initially 60 or 40. Here mass English 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.7, 0 0.3. You have to multiply first row, first column. 60 into 0 0.8 plus 40 into 0 0.7. Likewise, first row, second column. 60 into 0 0.2 plus 40 into 0.3. So, for 480, one decimal point, what you can get? 48. 40 into 0.7 will get 280, one decimal point, 28. Like that, 60 into 0.2, what you can get? 12. 40 into 3 will get 12. I mean, 120, that is one decimal point, 12. Likewise, here 12. So, when we add this, 76 and 24. This is one period. So, in the very next study period, there will be 70 students mass, 24 students English. That means they are asking about how many students do that next year after two hours, subsequent periods. So we have to do after two study periods. So first initially here, 76, 24 we have to take it and then transition probability matrix. That is the same transition matrix. What is that? 80 percent, 0.8. English is 0.2. Then English is 0.3. That means mass is 0.7. Same way, first row, first column. First row, second column. Multiply and add. 76 into 0 0.8 plus 24 into 0 0.7. What we can get? 60.8, 16.8. While adding at 76.6. That is for mass. For English, 76 into 0 0.2, 24 into 0 0.3. What we can get? 15.2, 17.2. I forgot. Put bracket. Then add this 22.4. After two study periods there will be because more than 0.5 we can make it as round off. That is 75 students do the mass work. This one is less than 
5.4 so 22 students do the english after 2 hours there is one method is in your test book in your example sum that is aliter method that means if they are asking second period that is they given that they are making that square square means you have to make it this multiply and then do it you can do it yourself aliter method is also easy for you this is uh, good for you because this is the way you are doing that long time so you have practice like this i am giving four sums for you homework try yourself otherwise i will teach next class for you